It's been sitting vacant since 2012, but now there seems to be a lot of interest in buying the old Southwestern High School. Let's get to Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl. She is live outside that school right now with the very latest. Ronnie? Yeah, you know, the school has actually been on the market for about nine months now. So when a local company put in a bid, the district's emergency manager thought it was a good deal. So he went ahead and submitted it to the school board for approval. Only the school board said not so fast. They went out and got counter offers, including one from a company connected to Manny Maroon. It's vast in size, just over 16 acres, but since closing in June 2012, vandals haven't been kind to the old high school. But still, it's worth something appraised at $890,000. Provisions offered just over $1 million, but according to records, the Detroit School Board didn't like the deal. Saw other offers, including one from Crown Enterprises, which is connected to Ambassador Bridge owner Matty Maroon. It was the highest bid at almost $1.2 million but the highest bid may not get him the property. Today, the Emergency Loan Board in Lansing voted to support Martin's proposal, which called for the property to go to provisions. But not so fast, because now we are hearing that the emergency manager is considering opening up the bid process once again. So Maroon's company has a chance of getting this property. A spokesperson for his company tells me they plan on not demolishing the school, but using it, putting in offices here and a community center. That's the latest from Southwest Detroit. Back to you.